Hey and welcome to another RPG Tools tutorial. My name is Martin and today I'm talking about a new topic it's about world maps and I will show you how that works. So world map is a normal map with layers so you can use most of the features of other levels and you can configure your world map for your game and then display it in the game and then you can you can use map markers or objects and when you click on them then you can load a specific level or display a cutscene or something like that and i will show you right now how it works so we will create a new level we click on file new but by default this option is checked and we uncheck that the option is called create default layers and when you uncheck that then you have a very simple level with only two layers a background layer and an objects layer so both layers are object layers which means you can place any images or units or whatever you want you can also add more if you want or even delete one but um, two layers makes sense most of the time and um, in this layer you can now place all your images so um, I will just display the images which are created for this world map and for the background layer I choose I just choose one of the backgrounds and this is a pack I purchased for testing but um, the content package will soon get a dedicated asset package for that so I just placed it and in the settings you can change the position to zero zero my window positioning is a bit off let's fix that so it's better to see for you um, so that's the background and then we can switch to the objects layer and here we can place the the objects so for example we can place a big tree or let's let's use that one so yeah just place some cosmetic elements like some mountains i'm sure you will create nicer maps for this tutorial it's again mostly about the functions you can use so here we have images for the actual objects let's increase the scale a bit um, here so for example we can use a tower and place it here and when you select it or you can also do that while you place it you can expand the engine the engine category and here you have a display name this will be used for the tooltip let's just call it i don't know magic tower and you can set the interaction cursor it should be move in this case and then we have the on interact actions these are the actions executed when you click on it in this case and in this case we want to load a level This is the normal action which you might know already from the game. So you load a level and you can choose your level. So let's 
It doesn't matter for this tutorial, so we just switch to rainy level. And you can set the start area if you want to. Then you have a title. Just for testing, something simple. Magic tower and the text. You enter the magic tower. Something like that. And you can also choose a background image. I just have very simple images here, but for testing that's enough. And that should be it. And then you save the map. World map zero one. And now you have to tell the game which is your world map. And for that you can switch to a data editor. And here here you have Oh, I need to rename that, but that's the world map. It's currently just called level. I need to fix that. That should be world map. And here you can, so I already created one, which you saw in the beginning, but let's choose our one, our new one. So let's save that. And now we can test it. Um, for that, I will just start with an empty level and run it using F5. And um, yeah, in this project, I have a button which opens the, the world map. And here it is, our world map. You can scroll around using the arrow keys. You can also zoom in and out. And here you see the, the Interaction cursor you defined and the tooltip. And when you click on it, it loads the level with the loading screen and then you entered the correct level. And from there, you can do the same again if you want to. And yeah, that's. That's it basically for now. Um, I will extend the feature in the future, and but you can already play around with it. So have fun with that, and uh, if you have any questions, the best place is my Discord channel. Thanks for watching. See you.